Salisbury News Weekly Roundup. Salisbury News Weekly Roundup. We started the week with tragic news of a 13 year old on a family holiday who had an accident and sadly damaged his spine and uh, landed that to be fatal. Um, feel sorry for the parents and loss of their son. Anybody that loses a child, it's very sad for. He was an organ donor, and uh, that was his wishes. Some good came out of it, I suppose, because someone else will now be able to have a new heart, or a new kidney, or even a lung. Our thoughts go out to his family at this difficult time. A 19 year old man was arrested this week in connection with an incident that happened last Wednesday where a man, a 30 year old man was punched in the head and fell to the floor and hit his head on the floor so hard that it left him with life threatening injuries. A 19 year old man from Aylesbury has been arrested and being released on bail under investigation. Earlier on in the week we went to Pebblefest where the kids at Pebblebrook School let their hair down and banged on the drums and danced to disco music and everything else and they really had a good time. Uh, the teachers worked really hard down there and on this particular day they were rallying around to get the kids to dance, play musical instruments encouraging them to go and get stuff from the barbecue which the teachers were serving for them i tell you something where you teachers get this energy from i don't know but i want some <laughs> other news this week there was a study released about is there a link between suicides and servicemen they wanted to know if the if there was any stats to show if there's a link between it but there's no stats in between them so the coroner's never asked was this an ex-serviceman so that sort of thing and they reckon that there might be a link they're not sure but they want to make further studies and try and get uh, coroners to ask the question was this an ex-serviceman which is good um, and if they do find there's a link between that and the uh, rising suicides then hopefully they can do more for our servicemen as it stands I don't think it stands there's enough being done to help our service people our ex-service people as well also this week there's a report about uh, children the poorer children in the county missing out on school meals because their families are just over the threshold of means testing basically so the only hot meal of the day that those kids are probably getting are now being stopped the parents might be on low income and need help so they get that little bit of help but then they have to lose their school kid, their children's meals at school so therefore they have to make up for that at home so they're not better off and it was they're saying basically it's putting people into poverty also this week reports about people having to go to hospital due to horsefly bites now normally a horsefly bite is just a bite really but if it gets infected then you may have to go to the hospital the NHS advice is to keep it cool with a damp cloth keep it clean use antiseptic ointment uh, if it keeps if it doesn't the swelling doesn't go down after a couple of days then get in touch with A&E or your local GP to see if you need to get some antibiotics UK cat killer strikes again in Aylesbury, this time on Walton Court. Uh, a woman's cat was found uh, in her front garden decapitated and then she found the tail of her cat 
in the back garden. Uh, this is one sick individual going around killing animals. Uh, he needs to be caught before he moves on to something like people. Um, so people please be vigilant if you're worried about your animals, your cats, keep them indoors. Don't let them out if you can. This week popped down to see Men in Sheds, good organisation who uh, now got to find new accommodation because of the company that owns the building wants them to pay full rates which they can't afford they're just a charity today sees the second day of Berriesfield Fest which started yesterday and ends on Sunday they've got a small fun fair down there other entertainment for the kids they have a food area and a beverage area uh, some be there's going to be some hot rod cars there should be fun for the family if you've got some time go down take kids with you enjoy yourself it's free entry nice weather we did have threats for thunderstorms yesterday and rain heavy rain but again never reached Owlsbury we had a little bit of rain but nothing major so and now it's back to normal with the glorious heat wave although some would say not so glorious because of the gardens now here at Owlsbury News we support local independent businesses they don't need just our help they need your help too You've got Liz and the little boat trip down on the Owsbury Canal Basin. Owsbury music. Anyway, thinking of guitars, violins or anything like that. Anything to do with music, they're the place to go. Thank you for watching Owsbury News Weekly Roundup. And uh, we will be back again soon. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments below. That's not a good thing. Um, when I say they're missing out on free school meals, parents might be working, but on low. The parents might be working, but <laughs> the parents might be working, but on low income. So therefore, they need. Thank you for watching please subscribe and leave comments below oh don't forget to share and like our videos thank you